Today's race is being put on by the Pikes Peak Roadrunners. And that is a, you know, an organization that basically sets up, I think, four races in the fall called the Fall Series. And then this is the Winter Series. So this is the last race in the Winter Series. There's four races, I believe. And I started racing in the late 90s in the Pikes Peak Fall Series. So 20 plus years ago, that, this is how, how I really started running and racing was the Pikes Peak Roadrunners Fall Series. And uh, my dad and I, we would drive down from Buena Vista. I was in middle school. I think I was sixth grade, maybe seventh grade. And we'd go run. In fact, one of the hardest races I've ever done was in this fall series by the Pikes Peak Roadrunners. And for those of you that don't know, kiddos out there watching the, the 90s, the late 90s, that is the decade before the 2000s, just for all you youngins out there watching. All right, folks, we're almost there. And uh, it's 27 degrees. Oh boy, I'm on the, I just don't know what I'm going to end up wearing. It is sunny out. It all depends on the wind. If it's windy, I'm going to put tights on. If it's not windy, I'm not going to have tights on because it's right on the brink of that freezing mark. So, we shall see. Time to go. See you at the finish line. Just finished. That was fun. A great rust buster. Second place. Not too shabby. I don't know. It's probably 150 runners would be my guess. And uh, for a rust buster, we'll take it. Second place by, I think first place is about 45 seconds ahead of me. And uh, I just couldn't quite catch him. But uh, oh, my mouth is frozen. Whew. I'll give you more of an update here in a second. Oh, that was fun though. Good rust buster. There we go. Pikes Peak Roadrunners, long race in the books, 20K, which is basically 12 miles. Uh, I don't even know what my time was, but I took second place. And I always like to guess, by the way, Russell, I hope your race went well. Sorry I wasn't able to stick around and cheer you on. Um, Russell is the gentleman that told me about this race, and it was a good race. Uh, you know, I'm kind of all in on trail racing now and ultra running. It's hard to get excited about road racing these days, I must say. But uh, it was a good race. It was overall, it was solid. Uh, it's just a little, it's a little windy out here, but uh, that's okay. It was fun overall, and I felt strong the whole the whole day. Couldn't quite track down first place. He basically put a minute gap on uh, second, third, and fourth. And uh, at about the two mile mark, you put a gap and I just didn't quite have it for tracking him down. But what was exciting was that with one, you know, with two miles to go, um, I was able to drop like a 520 mile at the end of the race. So that's like a good sign for the rest of the season that my strength and my, my strength is there. Like I'm never gonna really run sub five minute miles anymore in races. It's just, it's just not what I'm aiming for with the distances that I'm shooting for this year. But the fact that I still kind of have that turnover, is that's a good thing, it's a good thing. Um, so I always like to guess what my mile pace is before I look at it on Strava. So I'm guessing, first of all, I'm, I think the race topped out at about 8,000 feet. We started, I think, at like just over 7,000 feet. And my guess is, so I'm gonna look here in a second, was we topped out at about 8,000. So we're not, ta we're talking pretty high altitude here. And Denver, where I live, is 5,000. So this is like 3,000 feet above Denver. And then I'm guessing it's about 2,200 feet of vertical. It was rolling the whole way. Like, it was very rarely flat. Up and down, up and down. So it was, about, I'm guessing 2,200 feet of vert vertical. And I, I'm, my miles pace, I'm hoping it was about 630s. I'm not, I don't know. It might be a little slower, but uh, let's take a look. Once. So my mile pace, not too shabby. 611 a mile. I'll take that. I was, I'm a little surprised. Anyway, that's good. 
Okay, here goes, and it's, I have 12 and a half miles. Russell, what do you have? I have 12.4 miles on Strava. Um, so then, okay, interesting. It felt like more. This says 1,300 feet of elevation gain. It felt like a lot more, because it was always rolling. And then our highest elevation, yeah, I, I was about right, 7,700. So, not exactly low elevation race here. So not bad, no, we'll take it, but 6.11 a mile, we'll take it, that's exciting. Once again, that bodes well for the future, considering, uh, you know, I'm only running like 30 to 40 miles a week right now. So, tip of the hat to all the runners out there. Hope you had a good race, and uh, hope you had a good Rust Buster, and onward to bigger and better races. Woo! Hey, here race. we go. Uh, that was amazing. Good Rust Buster, and... Uh, well done. Second place for so, Rust Buster. Next race is in April. He just decided last night or so. Yeah, basically. Sorry, person who was going to get second place anyway. <laughs> You're in third. <laughs> <laughs> next race is in April, and uh, we'll keep it posted. Uh, the baby race. Seek beauty. Work hard. Work hard and love, love each, each other. other. See you tomorrow. Boom! Boom!